It's a very exciting time in mental health care in this country right now. Uh, there are a lot of challenges. We hear about them uh, on TV almost every day, whether it's the opioid crisis or the rise in rates of various psychiatric illnesses or violence. And that's a daunting problem. Um, in most areas of medicine, uh, whether it be oncology or infectious disease, we can point to all sorts of steady trends where illness has uh, improved, treatments have improved, and the burden of illness has lightened. Unfortunately, we haven't been able to point to that in mental health. And a lot of that's because the brain is the most complicated organ in the body, and there's so much we don't know about how it functions. But I think we are learning something, and what we've learned is that more than anything else, human beings are built from their relationships. Uh, they're, they're built in order to connect with others. And if you start from that perspective, rather than a human being being only a set of chemicals, we're that too. But if you see us as part of this network of community and relationships, you can get better from psychiatric illness. You can get better from addiction. And I think for that reason, you're gonna see a lot of improvement in the way we treat mental illness in this country and in this world in the decades to come. But to bring all those things together in one place, to have those kinds of caring relationships, to have those evidence-based treatments, and ultimately to have the kind of research we need to understand the mind and the brain, that's very unique. There are very few places that can even attempt to do this. And I think that it's gonna be increasingly one of Silver Hill's great contributions to the field.